Ken Rode, this is John Ballinger. We're the creators of Orange Star Dinner Show. We made this show uh, about 10 years ago. About 10 years ago. 10 years. <laughs> it's been a long time. And uh, we, uh, it was at the Evidence Room in Los Angeles, and we did a, it was a dinner theater that served 40 people, and 100 people would watch all the, the great happenings. And it was, it was really fun. And the show is is a country western musical um, with a lot of humor, very playful, and sort of a you know high energy farce. And what I've done is put together a combination of the Americana you know vocabulary that I learned um, um, as a choreographer and as a as a director, and put that together with um, what I call basically whimsical surrealism, and that my brand of collage theater. So this Orange Star Dinner Show, um, though it definitely has a you know a linear story. It also has a lot of bells and whistles that are completely unexpected. Now, what's really exciting is to work with these producing partners that we have. Hi, I'm Michael Counts. Hi, I'm Sherry Counts, and we are two of the producers for Orange Star. Ken's uh, a unique talent, and his work and his shows are some of the most fun productions that I've encountered. Um, that, to me, is why it's so important that we do this in New York. The first time that I saw Orange Star was up at Bar Summer Skate. And um, it was incredibly unique and fun. And I um, immediately thought, I really want this piece to come to New York City. I think that there is a void in the New York theater scene that Ken's unique vision and brand of theater can fill in a, in a different way. Hi. I'm Emily Knapp, and I'm a producer, and I'm helping bring Orange Star to New York City. I worked with Ken Rote at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, where he has choreographed a lot, and his choreography is always crazy and wild and unique and really funny. And then I saw one of his shows in Los Angeles, and it was all those things times a thousand. This show seems totally crazy and totally wild, and I can't wait to see what happens. To me, the Orange Star is like a huge opportunity because one, it's the first time a Ken Rhodes show will be done in New York, and that is huge, because he is like a huge fixture in the LA theater scene, and people love him, and he's had incredible press, and incredible sort of notoriety there, but he's never done a show in New York, and, and this is that opportunity. So there have been a couple of efforts uh, in the last, say, four years to bring uh, Ken's work to New York. Um, but none of them have found the right venue or the right producing partners, though the effort was, was significant. Um, but now there's this, there's, there, there, the critical mass is here. So um, Sharon and I, who have produced things like Play Date last summer together, um, are working with Three-Legged Dog and Kevin Cunningham, which has an incredible venue and incredible technical resources. Um, and of course, Emily, uh, and so the whole team of Last Sending has come together to bring the right skill set and the right production plan to this um, so that it can come to New York and thrive. What this money that we're raising is going to go to is, is performers, uh, is technical resources, designers, so that we can make the first real workshop of this, of this, of this, this, this show concept in New York uh, with the intention of, one, finding a home for it in New York, and two, creating the opportunity to tour the show to other cities um, to introduce Ken's vision and his aesthetic and his, his, his specific brand of fun. Again, we hope that you'll help us out. This is a, this is a perfect time to, to uh, tell John and I get to the next step and to, uh, to help this great show. It's, a, it's, it's really going to be exciting and interesting, and, and uh, I think it'll have a place on a, a map. On a map. The map. <laughs> I go rosebud in the morning dew. My love for you is so brand new.